Russell Brand has been accused of rape, sexual assault and emotional abuse at the height of his fame. He recently shared a video statement denying criminal and very serious allegations and insisting all of his sexual relationships had been consensual. A Nath alleged victim has spoken out, claiming Russell ripped her tights and refused to call a cab for her until she performed a sex act on him. However, she noted that they had consensual sex but she later felt forced and coerced. The allegations come just a day after another alleged victim claimed that Brand exposed his flaccid penis on his hand to a woman in Los Angeles just moments before laughing about the incident live on BBC Radio 2. Meanwhile, another alleged victim has spoken about her alleged encounters with Brand back in 2008 after they met at a gig in the Soho district of London. She claims that the actor forced her onto a sofa as she attempted to push him off of her to leave. The accusations came just days after an investigation by Channel 4's dispatches and the Sunday Times emerged, with four women accusing Brand of sexually inappropriate behavior, including rape, sexual assault and emotional abuse. 09 Pola No 1 Daniel Bird Russell Brand recapped the comedian vehemently denied the allegations put to him by The Times, The Sunday Times and Channel 4's dispatches in a statement and said he refuted the allegations and insisted all relationships he had were consensual. Just days after the Channel 4 Dispatches and Sunday Times article emerged, more women came forward and accused him of further inappropriate behavior. One alleged victim claims Brand exposed his flaccid penis to her while saying he planned to FK her, which she said would not be happening. Brand later laughed about the incident on his BBC Radio 2 program alongside co-star, Matt Morgan. Meanwhile, another victim claimed Russell ripped her tights and refused to call a cab for her until she performed a sex act on him. However, she noted that they had consensual sex but she later felt forced and coerced. One lady claimed that after meeting Russell at a gig and later going to his dressing room, he forced her onto a sofa as she attempted to push him off of her to leave. Following the dramatic claims, Russell took to social media on Friday night to issue a bizarre rant, during which he attacked the mainstream media and pharmaceutical giants. Closing his odd statement, he said, I need your support now more than ever, more than I ever imagined I would. So follow me, support our channel if you can, if it's within your means but more important than any of that, is that you please, if you can, stay free. 14 colon 14 Lucinita Mandrew Sachs granddaughter says I forgive Russell Brand for Saxgate but not Jonathan Ross Andrew Sachs granddaughter Georgina Bailey says she forgives Russell Brand for his expletive filled Saxgate voicemail prank but not his pal Jonathan Ross. The two men were working together at BBC Radio 2 back in 2008 when they caused uproar during an incident which has recently resurfaced. In the pre-recorded broadcast, Ross was heard goading Faulty Towers legend Sax over voicemail, telling the actor that Brand had slept with his granddaughter Georgina, he f your granddaughter. Brand clarified, but it was consensual and she wasn't menstrual, it was consensual lovely sex. It was full of respect I sent her a text, I've asked her to marry me, Andrew Sachs. Georgina admitted apologizing to her grandfather for the Saxgate incident, sharing hopes Andrew forgave her before he died in November 2016 at the age of 86 after being diagnosed with vascular dementia. In a new interview, Georgina said of Brand I've forgiven him. But I have different feelings for Jonathan Ross. There were no consequences for that guy. Georgina claims Ross never apologized to her personally, 
but did make a statement at the time, saying he was deeply sorry for the juvenile and thoughtless remarks. She added, Jonathan Ross is from that group of chauvinist presenters who were given the green light in the 1980s and 1990s. We're in a different world now but he's never seen fit to say a word to me. He should be ashamed of himself. The BBC was fined £150,000 by Ofcom after admitting editorial standards had been broken. Brand has since been accused of rape, sexual assault and abuse, which he denies, and there is no suggestion Ross had any idea of any of the claims and is not in any way linked. 14 colon 11 Lucy Needham Russell Brand quizzed by cops years ago over claims he treated masseuse like prostitute Russell Brand was reportedly questioned by police nine years ago over claims he sexually assaulted a masseuse and made her feel like a prostitute. It has been claimed. It's been reported Brand's accuser informed police she was allegedly touched in a sexual way at a £5 million mansion during the 2014 attack which she claims left her traumatized. Brand, 48, was reportedly interviewed by police officers in June 2014 following the woman making a formal complaint. The alleged incident transpired at a £5 million mansion where the victim reported being subjected to a sexual way of contact during a birthday massage she had been hired to perform for Brand. The woman claimed that the experience left her traumatized. Following her complaint, Brand was interviewed by police officers in June 2014. He was accused of sexually assaulting the masseuse during the £500 massage session. This episode allegedly occurred just two years after separate allegations of rape were reported against Brand in Los Angeles, as recently detailed by the Sunday Times and Channel 4's dispatches. The victim promptly contacted Thames Valley Police to report her alleged 40-minute ordeal. Law enforcement conducted a thorough investigation, obtaining a comprehensive account of the victim's allegations. Subsequently, Brand was questioned by the police, where he denied any wrongdoing. The case against Russell Brand was eventually dropped, and the masseuse was informed that the investigation had been closed. Read the allegations here. 17 48 Zoe Delaney Why would Russell Brand accusers go to the police when so many women aren't believed? as the allegations made against Russell Brand, which he denies, prompt some toxic debates online, Zoe Delaney questions why rape victims are often berated for not going to the police, when less than 2 in 100 rapes reported result in a charge. During discussions about the sexual abuse allegations against Russell Brand, which he denies, one question keeps being asked time and time again, why didn't the comedian's accusers go to the police after the alleged assaults took place? In a Channel 4 Dispatches documentary Russell Brand, in plain sight, which was made in conjunction with The Times and Sunday Times and aired on September 16, Brand, 48, was accused of rape, sexual assaults and emotional abuse, which the comedian strongly denies. Many of Brand's supporters have since shared their belief that the lack of police reports at the time about the comedian's alleged actions prove his innocence. If Brand sexually abused or raped any of these women, why didn't they go to the police? Why speak to journalists years later before ever stepping in a police station to file a report first? For people to question why a victim or survivor hasn't reported to the police shows a lack of understanding and awareness of how difficult that process is, Jane Butler, CEO for Rape Crisis explains to The Mirror. We hear time and again from those who have been re-traumatized by reporting, with some even stating that their experiences with the police were worse than the assault itself. 
in 2022 less than 2 in 100 rapes recorded by the police resulted in a charge that same year, let alone a conviction. It is completely unfair to expect victims and survivors to put themselves through additional trauma when statistically they are unlikely to receive justice. Read Zoe's full piece here. 17 colon 47 Zoe Delaney Ulrika Yonson claims famous DJ pursued her when she was 16 and he was in his 30s writing about the allegations against Russell Brand in her latest column Ulrika Yonson has claimed she was pursued by a famous DJ when she was just 16 and he was in his 30s. At the time Ulrika said she was flattered and perplexed by the attention because she was definitely not one of the cool girls at school. After meeting the man at a film premiere, because her stepfather worked in the industry, she said they hung out a few times although nothing awful happened and there was no sexual contact apart from an awkward kiss Ulrika pulled away from out of embarrassment, she claims the man asked her to lie about her age suggesting he knew it was wrong. Writing in her column for The Sun in the wake of the recent Russell Brand allegations, which he has denied, the now 56-year-old says, whatever lies behind the shocking accusations of Russell Brand's behavior, the one that really stood out for me was his relationship with Alice, not her real name, who was 16 when he was 31. At the age of 16, I met a famous DJ, he invited me as a guest to a show he was presenting. On another occasion, we went to listen to a band in a studio and then on to dinner with some of his friends. He whispered in my ear that I should say I'm studying for A-levels, college age, not O-levels, GCSE age, because it would just be easier. I did as I was told and lied hesitantly. Read the full story here. 23 30 Daniel Bird Pussycat Dolls icon speaks out and backs Russell Brand Russell Brand broke his silence earlier tonight and failed to mention the allegations he faces. Shortly after he shared his bizarre Instagram rant, fans took to the comments to support him. One follower was Pussycat Doll songstress, Jessica Suda. She penned, we support you. While actress Alexis Wren went on to add, we support you. Click here for the full story. 23 13 Daniel Bird Russell Brand's statement in full Russell Brand took to social media to speak for the first time since the allegations emerged. The actor and comedian thanked fans for their support and said he needed them more than ever. In an attack directed at the mainstream media and the government, Brand spoke about censorship. He said, Hello there you awakening wonders, obviously, it's been an extraordinary and distressing week and I thank you very much for your support and for questioning the information you've been presented with. By now, you're probably aware that the British government have asked big tech platforms to censor our online content read his full statement here. 22 22 Daniel Bird Brand became angry if models didn't sleep with him models were reportedly warned about going home with comedian Russell Brand as he could become angry if people didn't sleep with him it was claimed fellow comedian Cole Parker who worked with him in the early 2000s said Brand had a reputation in the modeling industry Agents would reportedly tell models Brand could turn nasty if they fooled around with him but didn't sleep with him. Speaking to BBC Newsnight, Parker claimed, a lot of the modeling agents would sit down and tell their models. Warn them about him. Things like, people go back to his house and they fool around, and then if they didn't want to go all the way, he had a reputation for sometimes getting angry or a bit nasty if people wouldn't sleep with him the first time. Click here for the full story. 22 01 Key Event Russell returns to social media. Russell returned to his Instagram profile with a bizarre social media rant. 
He told fans, I need your support now more than ever, more than I ever imagined I would. So follow me, support our channel if you can, if it's within your means but more important than any of that, is that you please, if you can, stay free. Click here for the latest developments. 21 30 Daniel Bird Russell Brand ripped woman's tights and wouldn't let her leave until sex act Russell Brand faces an eighth allegation of indecent behavior. A further person has spoken out with claims against the comedian, claiming she felt vulnerable and intimated. Speaking to Sky News, the anonymous victim claimed that she was traveling in Russell's car, and alleged that he jumped on her. She added, the limo driver was turning around a few times because I was saying no, but he ripped a hole, more than one hole, in the tights that I was wearing. The woman insists that she and Russell had consensual sex. Read the story here. 20 11 Daniel Bird Russell Brand's joke about sex with Dean's resurfaces A tweet posted by Brand has now resurfaced in wake of the allegations. Brand took to X, previously known as Twitter, in July 2010 urging teenagers to vote for him at the Teen Choice Awards that year. He was nominated in the Choice Movie Actor, Comedy category for his role in Get Him to the Greek but lost out to killer star, Ashton Kutcher. Click here to read his post. 19 Daniel Bird Katy Perry's chilling nickname for ex-husband revealed Katy Perry allegedly told Piers Morgan that she wouldn't do an interview with him, for one reason. Piers suggests that it was because he would get the truth out of her. He further claimed she had suggested she wasn't ready to share the truth. According to the columnist, Katie continued by saying that British people are so damn confident. The musician allegedly added, Trouble is, I find that irresistible. I love Brits. Well, not all of them, not Tris Putin, obviously. Piers questioned the apparent comparison between her ex-husband and Tris Putin in the article this week. He said that Rasputin was fiercely intelligent and sex-grazed, adding that he was manipulative and controlling. Grigory Rasputin, known as Rasputin, was a monk whose association with the monarchy during the final years of the Russian Empire brought the family into disrepute. A 19 10 Daniel Bird Russell's ex-wife Katy Perry ignores allegations against comedian Katy Perry is yet to speak out about rape and sexual assault allegations made against her ex-husband Russell Brand, instead taking to Instagram to promote her latest business venture. The singer posted a video on social media on Thursday night to promote her non-alcoholic drinks range, De Soir. In the clip, Katie was seen enjoying a drink as she relaxed with friends. The clip was captioned, De Soi, pleasure, with restraint, with the singer also sharing it on her Instagram story. Read the latest here. 17 50 Daniel Bird Russell Brand and Katy Perry's matching tattoo Russell Brand and Katy Perry became head over heels in love back in 2009, marrying just one year later. After Russell proposed to Katie, they decided to get identical Sanskrit tattoos which read Go With The Flow. The tattoos were inked on the inside of their right arms in 2010. After their divorce was finalized, it was claimed Russell had started to remove his inking at a Hollywood tattoo studio. However, he later revealed his plans to keep the permanent reminder of his relationship with the California Girls hitmaker. Click here to read the latest. 17 09 Kiev and Shpkurge to investigate WhatsApp messages. The BBC has been told to investigate WhatsApp gossip about other UK celebrities following allegations against Russell Brand. Dame Caroline Dinanage, chair of the Culture, Media and Sport Select Committee, 
has urged broadcasters to clean house as a result of the claims against the comedian, urging them to investigate allegations by whistleblowers of alleged misuse of power on programs. Broadcasters should use the brand claims to clean house and proactively investigate any other cases that are open secrets within industry gossip and WhatsApp groups, Dame Caroline said, admitting fears TV bosses turn a blind eye to reports of bad behavior. Read Dame Caroline's full statement here. 14 colon 53 Amy Denman Matt Morgan makes another statement after new allegation another woman made an allegation against Brand yesterday, dating back to his time hosting alongside Morgan in Los Angeles in 2008. A woman, who has chosen to remain anonymous, came forward with a fresh claim following an alleged incident she says took place whilst she was working for an organization in the same US building as the Beeb. The woman never made a formal complaint, however, BBC management was informed about the incident in 2019, but no formal action was taken. She says she answered the door to Brand and his team on June 16, who were set to pre-record an episode of the Russell Brand show. The woman adds that she went to the bathroom to get her medication and walked past the radio studio. She says that while she was squatting to look through the medicine cabinet, she felt someone behind her. The woman turned around to face a man's crotch. I was startled and got up and I realized it was the man that had let in, Russell, she told BBC News. She recalled him saying, oh, I think you're a bit alright. I think you're a bit of alright, and that he was going to call her Betty. The woman said that wasn't her name, and claims he replied, well, I'm gonna fk you. And I said, no, you're not. She says he then pulled out his penis on his hand and pretty much served it to me as you would be serving someone some food. The woman said she felt trapped as the bathroom door was closed. She said he then put his penis back in his trousers, and she heard someone banging on the door, at which point Brand left. The woman returned to her desk and texted a BBC employee about the incident. He informed her he already knew what had happened as Brand was talking about it. Following the recent allegations against Brand, the woman tracked down the program being recorded on that day. The episode aired on June 21, 2008 and featured an exchange between Brand and Matt Morgan. In the clip, Morgan said, it's been 25 minutes since he showed his willy to a lady. A laughing Brand said, very easy to judge. Very easy to judge. Look. Morgan quipped, receive this. He got told off for ringing a bell, minutes later has showing his willy. Brand could be heard laughing in the background. Following the allegation, Matt told the BBC's News at 10, I was not aware until now of the nature of this encounter. I've expressed my regrets now looking back at the impact of the show, and this is a further example. The recent coverage has been very distressing to read and I reiterate my absolute condemnation of any form of mistreatment of women. Read more, here.14 colon 30 Amy Denman Where is Russell Brand's former comedy co-host Matt Morgan now? Matt Morgan previously worked alongside Russell Brand, who has recently denied allegations of rape and sexual abuse made against him. He shares multiple writing credits with Brand, who strenuously denies the accusations, which were broadcast on Channel 4's dispatches and published in The Times and The Sunday Times. After meeting the set of MTV, the pair co-hosted BBC Radio 2's The Russell Brand Show from its conception to its 2008 demise following 48-year-old Brand's resignation over prank telephone calls made to actor Andrew Sachs. They later joined forces again, meanwhile, 
on talk radio's incarnation of the same show as well as appearing together on XFM and the Russell Brand podcast. Following the allegations made in the investigation with Channel 4's dispatches, The Times, and The Sunday Times, Morgan shared a statement. He said, I stopped working with Russell Brand several years ago. During the time I worked with him, I was never aware of any allegations of serious sexual misconduct against him. I absolutely condemn all forms of mistreatment of women. Looking back on the time I spent working on radio at the BBC, I am regretful to learn that a show I was part of made colleagues uncomfortable at times. But where is the comedian now? Read the full story, here. 11 58 Susan Knox Katy Perry's doomed wedding to Russell Brand with warning sign it was over before it began Katy Perry and Russell Brand began their whirlwind relationship in 2008 and just a mere three months later were engaged to be married. After the British comic got down on bended knee to pop the question at the Taj Mahal in India on New Year's Eve, they decided to forego a traditional Western wedding in their respective homes in the States and UK and hold their stunning, scenic ceremony in India. However, they split just 14 months later. David Badil admitted he was at the wedding and Russell confided in him before he tied the knot. Back in 2017 the comic said, Can I say that I was at Katy Perry's first wedding? I was there, Russell did tell me that they had a big row the night before they got married. I did think when he said that, of asking, are you sure? But I didn't say that. Perhaps I should have done. Only 14 months into their marriage, Russell broke up with Katie over a text message. It was alleged Russell, aged 36 at the time, was struggling with Katie's superstar fame. Their divorce was finalized in 2012. Read the full story, here.11.44 Susan Knox ITV boss says strong leaders are needed in TV in wake of Russell Brand claims ITV chief executive Dame Caroline McCall has said strong leaders are needed to call out inappropriate behavior, and feels perhaps that has not happened enough. The TV boss was speaking in light of rape and sexual assault allegations made against comedian Russell Brand, who predominantly worked with the BBC and Channel 4. He denies the allegations. Dame Caroline reflected on how the industry is handling alleged abuses of power within its ranks at the Royal Television Society RDS, Cambridge Conference on Thursday. Speaking at the RDS conference, Dame Caroline said, it's a really serious issue. I think there are two things, some are historic and some are current, and then there will be more emerging. It won't be just our industry, it will be much wider than that society. But I think that the one thing to know for sure is that every single broadcaster will take it very seriously. No one wants this to happen. It's appalling some of the things that have emerged. Asked if the messages made it to the top bosses, she continue, I think the only way that happens is someone speaking up, but also how the talent is managed, and that's another very big area that we spend an awful lot of time on, which is that you have to have strong leaders, managers who will say that's not appropriate or we've had complaints come out and this is what we're going to do about it. I think. Perhaps, that has not happened enough because that's not come out enough. An independent inquiry is currently being undertaken into ITV's This Morning program to review the facts after former host Philip Schofield exited the show earlier this year after admitting to having a relationship with a younger male former colleague. His departure also sparked further allegations the program was fostering a bullying culture that had been described as toxic. 
ITV bosses have previously said both Schofield and his younger lover repeatedly denied allegations of a relationship until the former This Morning presenter departed from ITV and formally apologized. Read the full story, here.10 colon Susan Knox Bob Geldof and Russell Brand's awkward clash and musicians cutting sweary jibe Russell Brand was on the receiving end of a cutting jibe from Sir Bob Geldof when the comedian presented the singer-songwriter with an NME award in 2006. The footage of Sir Bob, 71, calling Russell, 48. A sea resurfaced in Channel 4 Dispatches documentary which looked into the allegations made by four women against Russell Brand, said to have taken place between 2006 and 2013. A clip from the documentary took viewers back to a time period of the former Big Brother's Big Mouth presenter's height of fame. The clip from the 2006 Enemy Awards shows Russell presenting Sir Bob Geldof with an award, announcing the winner Russell said, Of course the winner is Live Aid so please welcome to the stage Sir Bobby Gandolf, deliberately mispronouncing Sir Bob's surname. The musician then walks onto the stage to accept the gong before declaring, Russell Brand what a see in a tense moment which was met with some cheers in the crowd before Bob and Brand exchanged an awkward look. Brand was seen leaning at the side of the stage and looked annoyed by Bob's jibe before the Irish star continued with his acceptance speech. The clip in the documentary ended there, but Brand took to the stage to make another jibe at Geldof after his acceptance speech. Once Sir Bob left the stage, Russell returned to the center with a microphone and said, Bob Geldof there, obviously an amazing man to whom we have a lot to be grateful, not him calling me a C of course. Really it's no surprise has such an expert on famine he has, after all, been dining out on I don't like Mondays for 30 years. Read the full story. Year.09 38 Susan Knox Love Island star shares disappointment in Russell Brand after rape allegations A former Love Island star has spoken out on her disappointment in comedian Russell Brand after sexual allegations against him emerged. Malin Anderson, who starred in the 2016 series of Love Island has revealed her shock at the allegations and said she was disappointed after following him for his well-being and health advice. Brand previously built a career as a comedian and broadcaster before moving into being a well-being influencer and activist. Speaking to OK! Magazine in an interview, Malin said, I followed his spirituality and whole journey, it's completely shocking. She went on to reveal that she's followed the star's breathwork advice and guidance and that she would read Russell's book and listen to his audiobook about addiction when she was smoking and drinking a lot. Since the allegations have come to light, she added, all these women have come forward and that makes me feel so disappointed. Read the full story. Year.09 35 Susan Knox Nish Kumar claims reason why he believes Russell Brand stopped appearing on TV shows Comedian Nish Kumar has shared his thoughts on why he think Russell Brand's TV career dried up in 2018 and 2019. Speaking on his shared podcast Pod Save the UK, comedian Nish discussed the rape and sexual assault allegations made against Brand, with he vehemently denied, with guest podcast star Coco Khan. The comedian shared this belief as to why Brand's TV career appeared to slow down, with Kumar claiming that people were simply not willing to work with Brand. On the podcast, the comedian said, I think if you look at Russell Brand's IMDb page, you see that his television work in Britain starts to dry up around 2018, 2019. And that's simply because increasingly people were just not willing to work with him. He then discussed the complainants, with four telling their stories in the Channel 4 Dispatches program and another coming forward after. 
Kumar said, the only people that come out of this with any credibility are the victims who have been brave enough to step forward and the journalists who have worked extremely hard to produce rigorous pieces of journalism so that they could get around the threats of a very powerful man's lawyers and until we start asking ourselves the hard questions we're never ever ever going to progress out of this. Until men start asking the hard questions about how we conduct ourselves, until people in powerful positions start asking questions about why they're indulging the whims of predators and monsters, until any of that happens nothing is going to change. Read the full story, here.09 27 Amy Denman Russell Brand Allegations in full as seven women come forward Russell Brand has been accused of exposing himself to a woman and laughing about it minutes later on his BBC Radio 2 show after a seventh woman came forward. The fresh claims against the comedian and actor come after he was accused of rape, sexual assault and emotional abuse at the height of his fame. Channel 4's Dispatches, The Times and The Sunday Times published the allegations over the weekend after four women came forward with claims, with the incidents taking place between 2006 and 2013 at the height of Brand's fame. He strongly denied the claims before they were published and insisted any relationships he has had were consensual. Read the full allegations. Here.23 52 Daniel Bird Noel Gallagher slammed as aka. What a life! Music video remains online. Russell's friend Noel Gallagher has come under fire for keeping a video featuring the comedian and actor online. Gallagher and Brand have had a firm friendship for almost two decades since becoming pals in 2005. The pair are so close that Brand was Gallagher's best man when he wed his wife Sarah McDonald in 2011. In Gallagher's 2011 video, he cast Brand to be a dark character in his music video for his single aka. What a life! Fans have now come back to the music video on YouTube and commented on the creepy behavior of Brand. One fan commented, Erm Noel, you might want to edit this video now mate. Dot another wrote, who regrets casting Russell Brand in this now creepy video. Read the full story here. 23.00 Daniel Bird Matt Morgan breaks silence over BBC Radio 2 exposed claims Matt Morgan has addressed the allegations that he and Brand laughed after the latter exposed himself to a woman in Los Angeles. A statement which was read out on BBC's News at 10 explained that he and Brand had stopped working together several years ago. Morgan went on to say that while working with Russell, he was not aware of any allegations of sexual misconduct. He said, I was not aware until now of the nature of this encounter. I've expressed my regrets now looking back at the impact of the show, and this is a further example. The recent coverage has been very distressing to read and I reiterate my absolute condemnation of any form of mistreatment of women. 22 15 Key Event Very sorry after Brand exposed himself the BBC has responded to allegations that Russell Brand exposed himself to a woman they've named Olivia. The allegedly exposed his flaccid penis on his hand as though he was serving food before going on to laugh about the incident on BBC Radio 2 just moments later with Matt Morgan, who told listeners Brand had just showed his willy to a lady. In a statement, the corporation said, We're very sorry to hear of these allegations and we will look into them. We are conducting a review to look at allegations of this nature and if the woman who has shared her story is willing to speak to us, we would be very keen to hear from her and anyone else who may have information. A key part of the review is to understand what complaints were made at the time, if there was knowledge of Russell Brand's conduct while he worked on BBC Radio, 
and what was done as a result. We will, of course, speak to the Bureau team and anyone who was working there in 2008 as part of this. Further, the Director General has been very clear that some broadcasts from that period were, and are, inexcusable and totally unacceptable, and would never be aired today. 21.45 Daniel Bird Russell Brand's friend slams vulgar actions Jack Osborne, has criticized Russell for his vulgar behavior in the past. The son of Ozzy and Sharon Osborne who has known Russell for over two decades has addressed the allegations surrounding his friend. Speaking to Piers Morgan he said, We've all, the Osborne family, known Russell going on 20 years, and you like to sit there and say, no. Has done some vulgar, outrageous, crazy things but you never want to assume that someone you know and is a friend or an acquaintance is capable of that. But you, we've got to see, we saw it with the Danny Masterson situation. I was a personal friend of Danny's. I've been to his house, he'd played poker with him. I actually knew some of the victims and so that story was like, oh my god. When you know someone and then they get found guilty, it definitely shakes your foundations, because you never know what goes on behind closed doors. Read the full story here. 20 58 Daniel Bird Katy Perry left in tears as she fought to save marriage. Katy Perry was left in tears in scenes shown in her film Part of Me as her marriage crumbled. One scene in particular from the documentary showed the exhausted star on a plane asking one of her team when the next break in her tour would be so she could fly home and see Russell. When she was told it would be another 18 days before she got to see him again, she appeared to be on the brink of tears. On another occasion, the pop princess broke down into tears backstage in Brazil as she contemplated cancelling the tour. She decided to put a smile on her face and went on with the gig. Elsewhere, a crew member asked her if Russell would be coming to visit her during the tour, to which she replied, he should, but has not, before later adding, I'm fighting to keep my marriage alive. Her friend went on to tell cameras, she should be resting, but she wants to fly to wherever Russ is to show she cares. She's running herself ragged. Read the full story here. 19 29 Daniel Bird Brand exposed himself to woman and laughed about it. Russell Brand has been accused of exposing himself to a woman and laughing about it minutes later on his BBC Radio 2 show. The woman went to the bathroom to get her medication and walked past the radio studio. She says that while she was squatting to look through the medicine cabinet, she felt someone behind her. The woman turned around to face a man's crotch. I was startled and got up and I realized it was the man that had let in, Russell, she told BBC News. She recalled him saying, Oh, I think you're a bit alright. I think you're a bit of alright, and that he was going to call her Betty. The woman said that wasn't her name, and claims he replied, well, I'm gonna fuck you. And I said, no, you're not. She says he then pulled out his penis on his hand and pretty much served it to me as you would be serving someone some food. The woman said she felt trapped as the bathroom door was closed. Read the full story here. 18.30 Daniel Bird Ed Miliband regrets 2015 interview with Russell Brand Former Labour leader Ed Miliband has addressed his previous interview with Russell Brand. Mr Miliband who is now Labour's Shadow Energy Security and Net Zero Secretary told Radio 4's Today, Russell Brand was rather notoriously going round saying people shouldn't vote because voting made no difference. That's why I did an interview with him, because I wanted to get to the people who he was influencing to say voting does make a difference. 
but of course, knowing what I know now, and I was not aware of these allegations at the time about Russell Brand, I wouldn't have done that interview and I regret doing it. Click here to read Ed's admission in full.